So what I want to cover in this video is how to apply Windows Defender Application Control Policies or WDAC policies uh, via Intune. Now what we'll need to do basically is remember that when we apply WDAC it applies to the whole machine. So what we want to do is apply that to uh, block things like downloadable executables from running for any user on the device. So for example, if we go into our downloads, you'll see that I've downloaded something here and if I run it, uh, that successfully runs. So I want to be able to uh, block this for this machine and everybody who uses it. Now to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the example policies here. So I'm going to take the stricter option here, which is the default Windows Enforced. And if we have a look at exactly what that policy uh, is all about, you'll see that effectively it is an XML file which will allow the definition of what can run and what can't run. Now, what we need to do to get this into Intune is we need to go in and compile this uh, into a bin file. Now, the way that we do that is we basically run the following PowerShell command. So we use the convert from dash CI policy. We specify the source path, which is going to be our uh, enforced XML policy, and we specify an output to a binary file. Okay, so what I'm going to do is run that. That will create our binary if I then go and have a look. So we now have that binary. Now what we need to do is we need to upload that uh, into the Intune component and create a policy there. So let us go into our devices and what we're going to do is select configuration profiles and we're going to create a new profile. Now the profile that we want to select is uh, Windows 10 and above as the platform and then we want to select a custom from the templates option here. So let's select the custom here and we will give it a name. Okay, so let's just call it WDAC and go next. Now what we need to do here is go in and add. You'll see that uh, it asks me for a name. It allows me to put in a description. Now I need to get the URI here. Now the URI, if we have a look at this other text file here is basically something that looks like this, but I need to go and grab the policy ID from that WDAC XML file. So let's pop back to that and you'll see here, this is the policy ID here. Now remember to grab that uh, without the brackets. So we wanna make sure that we don't grab the brackets there. Let's go back to our URI here and put that in that location. Okay, and then take a copy of the whole of that uh, URI and let's go in and put it in here in our Intune policy. So again, we'll just check that we have a correct looking URI there. And then for the data type, I'm gonna select a base64 file and then it's gonna prompt me to uh, upload the file. Now into here is going to be that binary file we just created using the PowerShell command. So let's go in and find that binary file. There it is there. Select that and upload that. You'll see it comes out. Looks a bit strange, but we have uploaded it correctly. Let's save that. All right, go next. And what we'll do in here is we'll just apply this uh, to all devices to make it nice and easy. So let's apply that, go next and create. So that will create the policy, apply it and begin to push that down and synchronize that with our environment. So what we'll do here is we'll go in and have a look at the device status, nothing reporting as yet. So what I'll do is just pause the video and wait till that uh, synchronization process has completed and then we'll verify the correct operation on this device. Okay, we'll see that now the device has uh, synchronized correctly and we have the deployment status set as successful. Now, if there is an error or some issue with the policy, you'll get uh, the red condition here and basically some sort of error. So we know that it succeeded. So what we need to do now is just go out and ensure that what we're after has been basically applied to our machine. So let's go back to downloads and let's try and run that application that has been downloaded. And you'll see that as expected, the policy from Intune has been successfully deployed to this machine and it is now blocking the running of that executable using Windows Defender application control. So quite simple, quite straightforward to set up. Remember that WDAC applies to the whole machine. 
what we need to do firstly is uh, create your policy and then run the PowerShell command here to create a binary file. We then uh, take that binary file and upload it into a policy here in Intune, a device policy, which we then uh, apply to the device in question. And then that will mean that all the files that we have specified will have those restrictions on them. And basically, if someone tries to run them, any files that are denied, you'll see they'll get this warning here indicating that it's been blocked by uh, Defender Application Control. So that's how simple it is to set up and deploy Windows Defender Application Control or WDAC using Intune. Thank you very much for watching this video.